Hello, welcome back. Jess Blicks with Jesse. Yet again, back with some more Dan Bass because we can't stay away, right? Love me some Dan Bass. Love me some Dan Bass fans. You guys are fantastic. You're super supportive. I can't stay away for too long. Um, been a busy, gosh, couple weeks actually, so I'm not making excuses, but you know, had house guests and I actually went to a couple concerts over the last weekend and and I'm not going to say old, but at my age, it's uh, the recovery time from a concert is brutal. I don't even drink. It's not that. It's just that staying up past, you know, nine is whew, rough. That's rough. That's like a three-day recovery period, right? Um, totally worth it. Don't regret it at all. Had a great time. Um, we're going to do uh, Sweet Child of Mine, another older one from Dan that I just kind of came across because I follow him on X and he reshared this and I was like, I didn't, this doesn't pop up when I'm looking on YouTube, you know? So thank goodness I follow him on there and I get these kind of, oh yeah, right. The old school. Let's do some old school stuff. Um, Sweet Child of Mine, Guns N' Roses, of course. Um, uh, uh, the old Guns N' Roses stuff, man, it hits me deep. I love that stuff takes me back to a time, you know, and I dreamed of growing up and having leather pants and a big hat and curly hair, and I don't have any of that shit, guys. I don't, not a, not a one of them. Uh, tight pants, probably, but that wasn't intentional. That just happened. I grew into them. Let's put it that way. I might have curly hair. I don't know. I've been shaving my head for a while. But... Uh, Regardless, neither does Axel, so you can just get the judge, okay? Anyway, let's get into it. I've jabbered a bit, rambled a bit, and I will do more so at the end of the video for anybody who wants to hang out and listen. I'll try to get into the song as best I can without pausing. I, I like to like try my best to just enjoy the song, let it play out, copyright and all that be damned. Um, you know, I, I, I just um, feel like it works better that way. If there's something I feel like I need to say because I'm scared I'm going to forget it, then I'll pause. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Dan Vask, Sweet Child of Mine cover. I'm going to pause really quick. I know I went on this whole thing about not pausing. I, I just wanted to say, like, um, you know, when you hear a song from Guns N' Roses, because Axel has such a very distinctive voice, right? There's always that comparison. You kind of, like, you, you just hear it with his voice, you know? Um, Tommy's voice is cool because it's, like, you it's there. You know what I mean? Like, it fits. It really fits really well. It's not, he's not imitating Axel, though. And I like that. It's hard not to. I couldn't imagine trying to sing the song aside from just now hearing this and not trying to like emulate like Axel's, you know, crazy, you know, vocals. Um, it's just it's just burned into my brain that way from 
what was that late eighties, early nineties, right? You know, I I just I like it. I like that it works so well because it's like it's it's close in a way. There's like pitch or whatever it is. I'm not like a, a, a very knowledgeable music person, but that that there's something there that 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 matches just right. Um, but again, that's like Kenny Dan's voice. Like that's what he does with these, like especially with these older songs. I really enjoy. Like he's still like. He's on that page with those people, and I think that works really well. But he's not mimicking Axel, because, I mean, that's really obvious when you do that, you know what I mean? Like, and it's almost kind of like parody at that point. But anyway, just had to pause real quick, had to throw that out there. Let's take it back a couple seconds. We'll get back into it.
Hello. Hey, my friends, thank you so much for watching this video. And I have to thank you for all the good comments and all the support that I see throughout all my videos. It's amazing. I try my best to read and respond to as many of you as I can, especially on the first few hours that a video is released. That's one more reason to hit that notification bell. I will see you again next week. And until then, you can watch one more video or two. Thank you very much, have yourself an epic day! Alright, there we go. Dan Vass, sweet child of mine, fucking crushed it, of course he did, right? I love his outros, I don't miss him. I know it has an algorithm thing that he's not really um, able to do the outros as much as he used to. Um, but I get it. He's you know you got to play the game, right? And YouTube's weird, and it's hard to figure out. Obviously, I'm on here and I'm just like winging it like a mofo. I'm doing everything wrong, probably to be honest with you. Um, but um, yeah, onto the song, onto the video. <laughs> of course, he did a great job. Dan Vass doing some you know '80s, '90s you know rock. Yeah, he crushed it. Um, very enjoyable though. I had a great time watching that. Um, again, like I said, it wasn't it wasn't uh, Dan trying to emulate Axl Rose's vocals. I mean, there's stuff in there you like, kind of have to do in a way that's similar, like cadence-wise, really to to Axl and stuff like that. Just the way the song is structured, but I mean, it's still Dan's voice, and he's not being you know trying to sound like Axl is what I'm trying to say, I guess. But um, very enjoyable. Great song, always a great song, always has been a great song. Um, all these years later, and I'm still not sick of it, I can't help but sing along to it. What a testament to a great song. And thank you for somebody um, a bit younger bringing it back and, 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 and shining some light onto something old school. Another great thing I love about Dan, he's keeping some of the great stuff alive and doing it respectably. You know, not mixing it with some other crap and making something else out of it. I'm like, you know, whatever. I'm not getting into that. But point in case, he's just he's just presenting the song in um, his way and doing a great job with it and keeping the the past alive. And I think that's important. I think it, hopefully a lot of maybe younger people, I, I do hope, are being exposed to stuff because of guys like Dan um, keeping it alive. Um, and there's other artists as well, of course, and, and and kudos to all of them. You know, we got to keep this stuff alive and keep it fresh. You know, I grew up listening to my parents' music and stuff, and, and I love it. Um, I still, to this day, love it. I think it's so much better than the majority. Not There's still some decent stuff that comes out nowadays, I'll be fair and say that. But, you know, there was so much awesomeness from back in the day, before my time, even before my parents' time, of course, you know, my grandparents' music and stuff, and um, be open to it, I guess is my message. I think most of my crowd probably already is. People who are watching these videos are probably open to the older stuff, um, but I, I, it's cool to see people keeping that alive. So, anyway, having said that, I'm not going to draw this out. Um, if you're new, or you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel. It means a world to me. I love um, it. Just kind of motivates me along when you get you know a little boost in subscribers. Like people are watching. Um, likes are always appreciated as well. Definitely um, comments. That's king. I love my comments, guys. I don't get to respond to many. I try my best, but they kind of get overwhelming. And again, that's not like a humble brag or anything. I'm just like honestly, it's like I really need to put some like. I would have to put some serious time aside to actually respond to all the comments. And it's hard to like respond to one and not another. I don't want to be rude to anybody. You know, um, just know that I do my best to read through um, all of them. Um, I really do, and it means a lot to me. I, I enjoy the support, I enjoy the encouragement, I enjoy the recommendations. I do keep notes. Guys, I have notes, notes all over this desk right now. I'm not going to show you because it makes me look stupid and sloppy, but there's notes. So please recommend um, more Dan, more of any other artist you want me to check out. Please try to be specific with uh, songs as well. Um, but whatever you want to recommend, please, please do. Um, 
it's not being ignored if you've done this in the past. Even it's, it could be like a long time ago. It's a lot. I'm trying to juggle a lot of different content, and uh, I do my best. But I, we're going to get there. I'm not giving up. I'm not quitting anytime soon. And I have my spurts of time where I've got more free time and certain times, and I do my best to fill that stuff in. So just so we're clear, I'm not ignoring anyone. I promise you. But uh, anyway, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for making this far in the video, and uh, I really, truly appreciate your support. Until next time, take care.